Hello, this is Lady Boulay and welcome back to Black American Lineage. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for viewing the videos, leaving comments, and leaving a thumbs up. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. Well, the situation with Jordan Charles and the bronze medal is ongoing. And there is a recent development that I think y'all would be glad to hear. And that is that Jordan has not given back the bronze medal. And the only reason I'm sure she hasn't given it back is because the U.S. gymnastics team told her not to because she earned that medal. It's not her fault that the Olympic judges didn't judge her performance correctly in the first place. It's not her fault that even though they recognized that her coach had inquired about the rating in time, they decided, well, we're not going to give it to you anyway. Even though we know you made the inquiry in time, we're still not going to give you the medal. So the United States is still fighting this. And I just read today that Jordan so far hasn't given back the medal. And today was the deadline. She was supposed to have surrendered it by today, but she hasn't done it. And she's not being advised to do it. So let's, let's talk about it. USA Gymnastics sends strong message to Jordan Childs after losing bronze medal. Jordan Childs may have lost the bronze medal she earned at the Paris Olympics, but she still has the full support of her U.S. gymnastics team. Childs was stripped of the medal she had initially won in the floor competition when the court of arbitration for gymnastics overruled a scoring change that had moved her from fifth place to third. And I still believe they did that on purpose because they knew Simone Biles was going to win something. And then after the Brazilian gymnast won first place, I think that they didn't want three black women on that stage winning all of the gymnastics medals. So I think they intentionally scored Jordan down in the first place, which is why her coach had to inquire about it, and then they gave her the right score. But I believe that was all a setup. I believe they planned to do it that way, because even after they have proof that her coach inquired about how they had scored Jordan in the first place, they lied and said she was four seconds late. So sometimes people just don't intend to play fair. The court ruled that an American coach made the appeal four seconds beyond the one minute deadline, moving Childs back to fifth place and giving the bronze medal to Romanian gymnast Anna Barbosa. While Barbosa is now officially the bronze medalist for the floor competition at the Paris Olympics, Childs still has the hardware she was initially awarded. USA Today's Christine Brennan reported on August 16th that Childs still has possession of the medal she was given in Paris, even while Barbosa was given her own medal. So Jordan is holding on to the medal that she won. And I don't blame it. And so some, some of you had said that's what she should do anyway. Just don't give it back because nothing is going to happen to her because she doesn't because she won that medal. But they did not want it to be said that the three black women won the three top medals in gymnastics. And when that white girl left there crying, that was a sign that they were going to do something, even if it was something tricky, and even if it's something that would cast a smear on the international gymnastics community. They didn't care. They just wanted to give that white girl the medal that somebody else had worn. USA Gymnastics said it will continue to fight for Jordan. The organization is looking at all potential appeal options, including the Swiss Federal Tribunal. Jordan thanked USA Gymnastics for its support as well as the outpouring of love and support in the wake of the news. See, everybody realizes what they did was wrong except them. I will approach this challenge as I have others, and I will make every effort to ensure that justice is done, Jordan wrote. I believe that at the end of this journey, the people in control will do the right thing. We can only hope so, 
But I think all the pressure that can be applied to the situation should be applied. Because this is the sort of thing they would have gotten away with in the past. Nobody would have challenged them and nobody would have said anything. But the USA likes to win. And they want all the medals they can get. And they're not going to let any medal go without being challenged when somebody obviously did something wrong. So I really applaud USA Gymnastics for not letting them get away with this. And to add insult to injury, the president of the panel that decided that Jordan should return her medal has represented Romania in other cases. So he is an advocate for Romania. So that is a conflict of interest. And the United States said when he, when he submitted the idea that Jordan should be stripped, nobody on the panel objected. So they just had bias going all the way around. The U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Committee said it would have been impossible to gather proper objections and evidence in such a rushed time frame, accusing the court and the International Gymnastics Federation of a number of errors in the situation. All right, that's what it sounds like to me. Jordan is the only gymnast in history to be stripped of an Olympic medal for an administrative error. What they say is that usually they are stripped because of doping or some other violation, not because of administrative errors by the judges. The Olympics have historically awarded multiple Olympic medals in situations involving extended disputes and errors outside competitors' control. Well, that's right, and they should. If they make the mistake as administrators, they need to write it by giving the rightful person their medal. And if they just want to give somebody else a medal, then they just do that on their own. But you don't take somebody else's medal and give it to somebody you want to have it. So anyway, it seems like somebody listened to my subscribers because Jordan has not given back that medal. And at this point, it doesn't appear that she is going to give it back. And good for her. And good for America for standing with her. Okay, y'all. Thank you for listening and have a good evening.